David, that detective's name is David Easterly. He's served the King County Sheriff's Office for about 25 years. And more than 24 hours after that shooting that happened on Monday, hospital officials tell me he still remains in critical condition in their intensive care unit. Fox 13 News now knows the name of all three deputies involved in Monday's deadly shooting at a Seattle apartment complex. The detectives involved are Benjamin Wheeler, Benjamin Miller, and David Easterly, all serving with King County Sheriff for about 25 years. Investigators tell me there are no official pictures available for the detectives because they work undercover. New Tuesday, we are also learning investigators believe all three deputies fired their guns during the shootout. Originally, it was thought only two deputies shot. However, according to the medical examiner, the cause of death for 29-year-old Eusitis Eusitis is a self-inflicted gunshot wound. It all started Monday around 9.30 in the morning in Seattle's Ballard neighborhood, where an attempted eviction turned into a deadly shooting at this apartment complex. Investigators say the gunfire began after deputies spoke with Eusitis. But information regarding what, if anything, led up to the shooting and who shot first is still unavailable. Investigators say Easterly was shot in his torso, even though he was wearing a vest. Eusitis ran back inside their apartment following the shooting, according to investigators. Officers eventually got into the home and found Eusitis dead, they said. The county's law enforcement investigation team, IFIT, says they are in touch with Eusitis's family. Monday night, about 10 hours after the shooting, King County Executive Dow Constantine commented on the incident via Twitter, addressing the detective's injuries, the fact that this is the second deputy shot in King County in less than a month, as well as thanking the deputies for their service. A friend of Eusitis says that the eviction process has been going on for months. Today, I reached out to the apartment complex who told me they would provide no statement or comment. Reporting live in Seattle, I'm AJ Janadal for Fox 13 News.